Uh, so far, so good. This game has caught me by the neck with a giant hook and is already uh, giving me everything that I wanted. There are frills, there is action, there is so much going on here, it's unreal. I mean, this is just magnificent. I mean, this is just, I don't know. There is something about this that is literally drawing me in second by second. It is, as I've said, it's a story, the art, the concept in general. It is a mysteriously scary kind of thing. I mean, I don't know, I, I, I have no idea. There's something about this that I'm drawn to. Right now, normally I'd be playing Overwatch, and I will be later on tonight, you know? But, uh, yeah. So, welcome to Chapter 3, Chaos Fury. And, um... In the previous episodes of Life is Strange... Whoa! film little pieces of time because max wants everybody to see i'm so sick is. of people trying to control me don't ever touch me again freak it totally makes sense you hell saved my life i think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday and there she is how are you doing max hi joyce i am so sorry about william I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Okay, here we go. You know, when I think about um, circumstances in games, it reminds me of these old PC games I used to play on Newgrounds. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... 
Okay. I'm not crapping my pants. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Yeah. Too bad I was the only one. I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Ah, gotcha. Now, what I want Principal to have... Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but... God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Hmm. Gotta figure out a way. It's unlocked. 
I hope Samuel isn't around. Nothing but tools. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Not oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Nothing here. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. I'm trying to figure this one out. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me.
Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. patient. set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Oh, great. He saw me. Max the Ninja strikes again. My ass down. There we go. See, you learn. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh, yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she mm. could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. 
You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? Uh -huh. I had no idea you two were that close. Yep. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Hmm. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Desolation.
Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Nothing to see here. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Crap. Boring. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Gross, I hate that formal and smell. Of course, I'm barely passing science. I never said they were great, troll. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Ooh, sugar. Only three more items to go.
Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Oh, there we go. You're halfway home, Max. Still need a duct tape and a soda can. Okay. This is like a scene in a horror film. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson... Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? You can never escape the lighthouse here. Tape is mine. Only one more ingredient. I probably should find those items now. All I need is a soda can. Release the crack can. Uh. It's all mine anyway. 
Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Here we go. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! We are toast! And Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? to figure this out. open she can't cheat with her rewind oh this is bullshit fuck you door welcome to my domain you are magic i have no clue how the hell you got in there but you did it sister the company i keep now let's find what we want and beat it my powers only go so far man i can see why the principal locks this room up fancy faux art crap he must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Wowzer. This will so not come in any... Andy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Only two more files to go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Shirley. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Look at this pile. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA.
You're not so tacky up close. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. How diddly do. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. That's the very video, folks. We're gonna see what happens with the office. Takes forever, but you know, that's the power of time. Slow and steady. You got a good buzz, and go down in the flash. Max, accuse. Seriously, if anyone is high watching this. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. <laughs> I feel like shit for taking that money. But if it helps the story to move along, then, you know. 
That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. I gotta say that this is a charming story so far. I'm enjoying this. And this helped me to ignore this heat, which is also a very good thing. Since I have not started my uh, drinking yet. I had the cans looking at me like, drink us, drink us. But I can't. He'd be cheating on my cola. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I'm enjoying this very much just because, I don't know, it's rare to find a game like this, especially a episodic game where you can put things together. I mean, I don't know. This is this is fun, but it's also got that kind of right balance of mysterious, scary, but also very, very fascinating. You know, it's like a, a murder mystery within a mystery that could involve murder. You never know. So, anyway, uh, let's have a look and see, shall we? I cannot see a goddamn thing in this thing. I guess I should consider this evolution. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. What's once what's more? Um, I'm surprised that Square Enix actually made something like this. I mean. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam. Oh boy. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. <clears throat> I'm hoping in this chapter we actually get a bit more information based on what happened. Like, uh, what the fuck? Boys' locker room is right. Sex me up. Hmm. I want you to fuck me, Jerry. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. This is troll face. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Okay, we're going to find the light for this, and then I'm going to have to cut the video for a bit. Because a dinner is a calling. Club sandwiches. The best thing you can go for. Normally there should be like a main power switch somewhere around the uh, the basin of any pool. Or on the inside or the outside, because you never know. Safety regulations and all that bull. Hmm. So this is a shower area, so we're not going to find any power here. 
That may be one of these holes, who knows? There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. All right, here we go. That's pretty neat. All right, folks, well, that's it for this part, but I will be back later on. I'm going to have some food, munchies, all that groovy shit. Until then, thank you for watching. And until next time, you know, just... Uh, this, that, this, that. If you like the video, like it, subscribe. Do what you like. Life is life.